Because we Pakistanis are hijacked with super impure powers, so-called establishment. Our military generals are gone rogue. I am afraid how much cost we will be paying until Sharia is implemented here. Um, well, there certainly are some military generals who have gone rogue, and we know who they are. But there are also many very good military generals, fortunately. <laughs> Not only in Pakistan, but in the United States also. There are some military generals who are rogue and some who are very good, very true patriots. So don't worry. Uh, the, the establishment, so-called establishment, are not only impure powers. There are uh, bad, rogue, selfish generals, but there are also very good uh, and selfless patriots in the in the pakistani military and that's in most countries they have very good people and very bad people in the military too okay so but your last sentence here about uh, you say you're afraid how much cost we will be paying until sharia is implemented here well as i just said a few minutes ago i quoted about sharia and muhabbat uh, really what has to be implemented is not Sharia. This is what most Muslims think. They think Islam means Sharia. And if the Sharia was implemented, then Islam would be implemented. No, I've been told very clearly, very plainly, that is not true. You can have the Sharia 100% implemented in terms of the laws um, and the laws be enforced. But if it's done without love, it won't be real Islam. So real Islam really means love. When the Sharia is implemented with love, then it will be real Islam. But the Sharia does not necessarily have to be implemented with love. Sharia can be implemented with even hatred, but certainly with uh, selfishness and with uh, self-righteousness. So there are some places where that has happened, where the Sharia is implemented much more than it is or ever will be in Pakistan probably. And in those countries, they implemented a Sharia not with love. So that didn't work. That's actually worse <laughs> to have Sharia implemented with, uh, with uh, what's the right word, self-righteousness. That's not good. So it's not that the Sharia has to be implemented. It's that love has to be promoted, love and truth and justice. Uh, and then whatever is implemented, whatever laws are implemented, that will be good i hope that's I've, I've taken this position many times before it is not the first time i've said the sharia is not very important what is important is love and truth and justice so don't be misled by people that are promoting sharia with a self-righteous attitude that is not islam